हेलो वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल क्यूबिट एजुकेशनल सर्विसेस वी आर डिस्कसिंग द आइसर एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट मॉक पेपर वन एंड दिस इज द नाइन्थ वीडियो इन द सीरीज इन विच वी विल बी सॉल्विंग द थर्टी नाइन्थ क्वेश्चन ओके दिस इज द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम सीक्वेंसेस एंड सीरीज द द वेरी फर्स्ट द वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉज ऑल्सो ऑन सीक्वेंसेस ओके सीक्वेंस एंड सीरीज सो दिस क्वेश्चन सेज the sum of the infinite series cot inverse of 2 plus cot inverse of 8 plus cot inverse of 18 so on plus cot inverse of 2 n squared so they have also given us a general term plus and so on is pi by 3 pi by 4 pi by 6 and pi by 8 okay so we immediately note that everything inside is positive okay so you can write the given infinite series series using the inverse tangent function so cot inverse of 2 will become tan inverse of 1 by 2 cot inverse of 8 will become tan inverse of 1 by it and so on okay now to find the sum of this infinite series we first check whether it is an ap or a gp or or a combination of them and you find that none of it is none of them right so we have to adopt a slightly different approach to solve uh, such problems okay so what we do is we define a new term ca called the partial sum okay so this partial sum s subscript m is to be interpreted as or is to be defined as the sum of first m terms so for example if i take s2 so s2 would mean the sum of the first two terms tan inverse of 1 upon 2 plus tan inverse of 1 upon 8 that's it okay and how is def how the sum of an infinite series is defined if it already exists by definition the sum of infinite series is equal to the limit of sm as m tends to infinity Okay, so if you just keep on adding the terms, or if you keep on taking uh, the partial sums, and if you just take the limit of that sequence, if that limit exists, you would say that the infinite series actually converges to that. Okay, and this is the standard approach, which is followed in uh, in analysis. Okay, yes. So we will first try to form an expression for S M for our given infinite series, and then try to take its limit. now it's not too difficult to get the uh, well the the summation notation form of sm okay the mth partial sum what is it summation as n goes from 1 to m tan inverse of 1 upon 2 n squared and th there was no need to recognize it this was already given in the problem okay that the general term is cot inverse of 2 n squared okay and now begins the standard mathematical procedure that is multiplying and dividing by the same thing adding and subtracting the same thing okay yes so whenever you see tan inverse okay you recall the two formulas that we frequently use tan inverse of x plus uh, tan inverse of x plus tan inverse of y and tan inverse of x minus tan inverse of y so we'll try to make use of any one of those two okay step number 1 multiply and divide by 2 okay so this will leave this one as 2 and 2n squared will become 4n squared and now what you do is you 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 Write four n squared minus one, which can be factorized as two n plus one into two n minus one. Okay. So this is requiring us to subtract one from the denominator. So we'll also add it, and it is actually going to help us in identifying the pattern that this actually matches with tan inverse of x minus y upon one plus x y. Okay. So this is nothing but tan inverse of x minus tan inverse of y, and that is the most important part of the problem. having multiplied and divided by 2 and having added and subtracted one from the denominator we have actually uh, i would say written the the given term for sm as tan inverse of 2n plus 1 minus tan inverse of 2n minus 1 and this is in a position well we are now in a position that we can actually simplify this okay so let's just put the numbers there plug in the numbers all of them are going to be odd numbers So first, let's do it for tan inverse of two n plus one, n equal to one three, n equal to two five, n equal to three seven, and so on. Two n minus one. Well, that is a same the same sequence, but it has one additional term. Okay, what will it be? That additional term would be tan inverse of one. Okay, so I've written that in the bracket. Tan inverse of one, tan inverse of three, tan inverse of five, and so on. Okay, but remember that uh, we need to stop at m. Okay. So when you when you plug the the value which is one less than m which is m minus one then this is going to give us tan inverse of two m minus one, and this has to be the last term of the uh, second series that is tan inverse of two m minus one. Okay, so the first term is going to or rather first series is going to have one additional term and that is tan inverse of 
टू एम प्लस वन ओके दिस वन एंड आई एम टेलिंग यू दिस बिकॉज ऑल द रिमेनिंग टर्म्स विल गेट कैंसल्ड ओके एक्सेप्ट द टू टर्म्स आउट ऑफ विच द फर्स्ट टर्म इज दिस वन एंड द सेकेंड टर्म इज दिस टैन इनवर्स ऑफ ओके एवरीथिंग एल्स विल गो टैन इनवर्स ऑफ थ्री माइनस टैन इनवर्स ऑफ थ्री टैन इनवर्स ऑफ फाइव माइनस टैन इनवर्स ऑफ फाइव एंड सो वन एंड इवन दिस टर्म टैन इनवर्स ऑफ टू एम माइनस वन माइनस टैन इनवर्स ऑफ टू एम माइनस वन सो वॉट रिमेन्स एज टैन इनवर्स ऑफ टू एम प्लस वन माइनस टैन इनवर्स ऑफ वन बट दिस इज एस एम दिस इज नॉट द आंसर ओके वी हैव टू नाउ टेक द लिमिट ऑफ दिस प्रोवाइडेड दैट दिस लिमिट एग्जस्ट ओके सो लेट्स लेट्स लेट लेट्स अलाउ एम टू टेन टू इन्फिनिटी एंड एंड ट्राई टू डिटरमाइन द लिमिट ऑफ एस एम ओके एंड दैट इज गोइंग टू बी द सम एस Now, if m tends to infinity, clearly two m plus one will tend to infinity, and tan inverse of infinity is pi by two. So pi by two minus this one. So pi by two minus pi by four is pi by four, and therefore the original infinite series converges to pi by four. Okay, what was that? Cot inverse of two plus cot inverse of eight plus cot inverse of eighteen, and so on. It converges to pi by four. So the correct option is B. This is question thirty-nine. in the next video we will solve question 40